Welcome to What is Statistics Part 4. All right, we're looking at Jesse Arnold's definition of statistics. Statistics is the process of making decisions when confronted with uncertainty. So far, we've talked about the process and the decisions. Now we're going to talk about uncertainty. If you haven't watched the previous two videos, you might get a little lost on what we're talking about, so I'd highly recommend you go back and do that. But here we're going to talk about uncertainty ever so briefly because I'm going to refer you to a playlist on YouTube to help you work through uh, what probability is. All right, so think about it. Uncertainty. We're going to be dealing with data. We don't know what the values will be before the experiment. Okay, I'm going to do the experiment. I'm going to see what happens. But if I know the answer is going to be 5, why am I doing the experiment? It's just a waste of time. I'm doing the experiment because I want to learn about those values and learn about the process. Hence, we're uncertain about what the value will be when we take a sample. And if we take many sample, we'll be very uncertain about what all of those values might be. So it's not as simple as just saying the answer will be 5. It's like, well, the answer will be between 0 and probably 12. And so which value is it? I don't know. And that is where the uncertainty comes in. It's when you say, I don't know exactly what value it would be. And if you did know what value it would be, then why are you conducting an experiment and wasting money? All right, so... The language of uncertainty is probability, okay? And what probability is is a rigorous mathematical framework, okay? It allows for uh, uncertainty to be quantified into a number. So we can take how much uncertainty we have and actually assign it a value. And that value is very important because it lets us know how much uncertainty we have. And uh, pr this probability is driven by the type of experiment that you conducted. It's not driven by your data, which some people think it is. There is empirical probability, which is based off of data, but it's not driven by your data. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put down here a couple things that might make some people mad. Any good statistician or data scientist needs to have a decent grasp of probability. Why? Because everything's linked to it. Uh, one way or another, it's linked to it. So you really need that. Uh, anyone who doesn't have a decent grasp of probability cannot be a Bayesian statistician. Okay? They're linked at a fundamental level. Yeah, you can run some things in some computer somewhere and get some answer. Does that make you a Bayesian? Probably not, because you really need to understand probability to understand what you're doing and why it works. Okay, and so... I'm going to refer you to a YouTube playlist that's going to be in, linked in the description below, and I might have a thing you can click up here that will take you to it, and that'll give you a better grasp of the concepts of probabilities. Now, don't focus on the technique so much. I'm going to cover a lot of it in the class, but there's a lot of it that I won't cover, and you can give you a more complete view, uh, view of uh, probability by looking at these videos. Now, I'm going to warn you right now, there are 61 videos, so it's not like you're going to watch three and get everything you need to know. There's a whole lot of information there, and you, they're rather short videos, and we're going to interleave them in through the course as well to make sure that you, we cover the video before we cover the topic in class. So, Keep that in mind. I'm going to refer you to that, and that will help you really work through and understand what uh, probability is and really what uncertainty is. All right, so now that we've done this, we have the statistics It's the process of making decisions when confronted with uncertainty. We've got the basic idea of what the process is, which is the scientific method, what decisions we can make, right? There's basically three that we're after, which is parameter estimation, which is I wonder what the value might be. What I wonder if the value is, against some reference, and I wonder what a future value might be. That's prediction, right? We've got all of these three decisions that we could make, uh, and that falls under there. And for uncertainty, I'm kind of being wimpy and just pushing you off to a uh, playlist that I created before that really talks about probability, and that's really where we're going to be working from. So now that we have this framework of what statistics is, then we can start thinking about what Bayesian statistics is, because otherwise we're just going to be kind of wondering, why are we doing this? All right, so see you in the next video.